praising the Lord. Praise the Lord, Missy. It's Missy singing and praising the Lord. Oh, go give Daddy kisses. Well, that's one way to start the morning, that's for sure. Good morning. I certainly hope everybody's having a very nice day. I am actually on my way to the bank. We have a couple checks we need to get in the in there to deposit and then I'm gonna scoot over to the grocery store. I really thought I could get away with not going to the grocery store. That's why I didn't go on Friday. But yeah, that didn't work out. Here it is. I need to go to the grocery store. <laughs> so anyways, that's what I am doing. It is gloomy. It is raining. It is just an all out cloudy, kind of dingy day. But you know what? The sun is still shining. We might not be able to see it, but it is shining. Anyways, I will talk to you after a bit. Hope you'll join me. Well, I first stopped here at Walmart because I was hoping to get some LED floodlights because we put floodlights up outside uh, for Christmas. And I thought, you know, oh, they'll have colored LED floodlights. They didn't have any colored floodlights. Not LED, not regular, nothing. They had LED floodlights, but hey, that wasn't gonna help me. I didn't want just regular white, right? Or clear. So anyways, I did end up because in our kitchen we have can lights and I did end up getting three packs of the LED um, lights for that because that will save on the electric bill. And we have, I think maybe three of them out of the six that are LED because I was just slowly changing them over but I thought you know what nowadays I mean they're so cheap you get three of them for like under ten dollars I think it was eight ninety seven so I just went ahead and I thought you know what I'm just gonna get a couple packs and we'll just change those out and be good to go but those colored floodlights I think what I'm gonna do before I run down to the grocery store is stop over at Home Depot because it's right next to Walmart and see if they don't have it because our electric bill really gets high well that was a bust um i'm wondering if i'm looking for something that doesn't exist they sell floodlights but again they're all just the clear floodlights for like you would put in uh, in your um outdoor lighting um they didn't have anything that was colored that is a bulb. They did have LED outdoor flood lighting, but it wasn't a bulb. You were purchasing the entire contraption. It was all one piece. So the part that that stake you put into the ground and you'd normally screw your bulb into, that's all one piece. You have to buy the whole thing. They have those, but there's like three little lights on the inside with like a the blue or the red or the green whatever covering it to bring to make a color and honestly I mean the steak was only like four six inches and I'm thinking oh geez you know we get snow the snow's just gonna cover these puppies right up so I am going to talk to my husband about that and I think that we just might have to keep what we have until we could think of something else. <laughs> oh well. It was worth a try, right? Well, I'm off to the grocery store. Talk to you soon. Well, I'm home and my plan worked because this is what I said to my husband when I left. I said, you turn on the stereo, have the volume right around 11 or 12, and put it on a continuous loop so that the CDs just keep going and to the next one and leave your door open so the dogs can get out of your bedroom and you shouldn't wake up when I come home because for some reason I realize they don't hear me pulling in the driveway or even opening up the door with the stereo going. So that's what I did. And so they start to bark as I'm in the house so I can just tell them, go on outside. They're happy I shut the door and they're outside and I go shut my husband's bedroom door because he's sound asleep. 
then I can just bring all the groceries in the house and the dogs don't wake them up. So I thought it was a plan and you know what? It worked. But I do have to show you I was really bad at the grocery store today because I'll show you what I bought. If I can locate it here, running in a circle. What did I do with it? I, oh, I see it. It's on the other side. That's where it is. So look what I got. Yeah, ice cream. All natural black swirl, butter pecan. But did I stop there? Oh no, because it was on sale. So, mint chocolate chip and butter, almond, and chocolate. Four ice creams. They were $2.99 each. Regularly, $5, $4.99 or $4.98, something like that. Might as well say $5. And these are all natural. There is nothing artificial in this. There is no corn syrups. There's no high fructose corn syrups. It doesn't have all the horrible things in there that you can't even pronounce. It's literally the ingredients say um, cream, non-fat milk, sugar, roasted almonds, um, it says canola and or cottonseed oil, salt, butter, cocoa, salt, and vanilla. So, I mean, it is totally and completely natural without all the other stuff. And that's why I went ahead and got four because, hey, when you can save $2 a half gallon, I mean, I just saved eight bucks. So, yeah, I thought I did a good job. Anyways, I'm going to put my stuff away. I really didn't buy that much. And I actually, after I left Home Depot, I stopped at Lowell's. And, yeah, there's no such creature as those floodlights, I guess. I guess that they they want you to buy them where they're already in the entire thing that goes in the ground instead of just a light bulb. And then you can just put them in what you already have for in the ground. So, I don't know. I'm going to have my husband go and look and see what he thinks. But I really... I don't think I want to spend the money on a contraption that you can't change the light bulb if something happens to the light bulb. I'd rather be able to take the light bulb out and have the thing that goes in the ground then all the time. So, don't know. If you know anything about that, let me know because I'm confused. They sell floodlights that are LED. Why don't they just put a blue glass over them? Red glass, green glass. I don't know. Anyway, I'll talk to you later. Hey, look what I'm doing. I am indulging in the chocolate and butter almond ice cream. Well, good evening. I hope everybody's had a really nice day. And this evening, I am going to talk about something a little bit different. I first am going to start out in 1 Samuel chapter 7, verse 12 where it says, then Samuel, we're speaking of the prophet Samuel, took a stone and set it up between Mezpath and Shen and called its name Ebenezer, saying, thus far the Lord has helped us. That happened to be a verse that our pastor at the church that I go to, he was speaking on 1 Samuel chapter 7. And that particular verse God used in a very wonderful way. A lady at our church that I highly respect and admire for her strength, her stamina, and her wit and courage. She decided that, or I shouldn't say she decided, she believes that the Lord wanted her to start what is called the Ebenezer Project. And Ebenezer, the word itself, means a stone of help. It's that, that, that's what that word means. I know that we kind of think of Ebenezer Scrooge from A Christmas Carol, but the word means a stone of help. And 
she said that she would like to see this Ebenezer project um, take hold where we can be a stone of help to others. I'm going to read what she wrote. She says, it requires very little from us other than helping someone in need, thanking a service man or woman, helping a single mom struggling with a screaming child in the store or with a stroller, approaching someone who looks down and give them a small gift. She says the dollar store has lots of little trinkets, little candy, cards, etc., that you can purchase and have in your purse or in your pocket. Even a card that is cheery and tell them that someone is thinking of them today. Anything that will bring life to the spirit of someone that you don't know. Choose random people to bless. Our goal is to be a stone of help for others. Our world needs understanding and hope more than ever right now. While this project is based on scripture as noted, it is a project where each and every one of us, no matter our beliefs, our race, our location, or our circumstances, can reach out and help bring our little corner of the world some love, hope, and peace. One act of kindness can change someone's life. So let's unite our country once again. And with that, she has set up a Facebook page called The Ebenezer Project. And she's asking us to post ways that we can show others kindness. She's asking us to let, them, let people know what you might have done. I don't know if many of you are on Facebook, but a lot of people are angry. And they are expressing that anger and that fear fear in ways that are very unproductive and harming others. And even though I personally do not understand their fear, I do understand that the fear they are feeling is real to them. And that all that's all that matters. Because we've been talking on the mercy of God. And the mercy of God is an attribute of God's. But because he had mercy on us, we are able to also show mercy to other people. We, we don't have that. Uh, that's not who we are like God. But it is something that we can demonstrate to others. And before I end here, I wanted to read you something that we are told in Romans. And that is in, in Romans chapter 12, verse 8. And I'm going to read it out of the Amplified Bible because I think maybe it, may, it explains it a little bit more. It makes it a little bit more deeper. He who, he who exhorts, encourages to his exhortation, he who contributes, let him do it in simplicity and liberally. He who gives aid and superintends with zeal and singleness of mind, he who does acts of mercy with genuine cheerfulness and joyful eagerness. That is referring to spiritual gifts, I realize, but we can all show genuine cheerfulness. We can all be joyful and eager to give joy to others. We can all, with singleness of mind, be merciful to people. And I think that that is what the Ebenezer Project really is all about. Showing mercy, kindness, and joy to others. And with prayerful 
thought. Maybe it could become contagious and just spread across this entire land where people can realize that it's not all doom and gloom. God is on the throne and he is good and he is merciful and he wants us to do good to other people and he wants us to be merciful to other people. So I just want to encourage you that if you would to head on over to that Facebook page uh, and, and, and join it. It's just, just clicking like, that's all it is. You know, it's not like you're committing to anything. And I encourage you to do these random acts of kindness. Let's just let it spread across our communities and just like a fire, just keep it going, keep it going. And so anyways, that's my encouragement. I will put a link in my description of her blog. If you'd like to read her blog, I will put a link to the Facebook page that you can join. It is a public Facebook page, just like mine is. So you can click on it and hey, share it with your family and friends. Let people know where you are in the churches that you go to in with your neighbors, that this is something that we want to take hold of. And so with that, I just want to say, life happens, let's enjoy it, and let's give some of that joy to other people. Good night.